Well, I'm at Taylor Lake Campground and I was here one night and I looked out the front window and lo and behold, it's a beautiful JK, a, a 2017, Correct. right before yeah. the, they switched over to the JL, uh, but it is a two door. And uh, this is Mark and Peggy. We're gonna do a quick walk around. So Mark, what do you got going here? Well, she's always had a dream of having a Jeep. We'd always drive through the used car. He just happened to have a Wrangler in there one day. New but used, some guy won it in a golf tournament. And so we got a real good deal on it. It was a base model, has air and, and automatic only. It had uh -huh. the little baby wheels on it and everything. Yeah. So, so we bought it and it's like a Lego. I asked her one year, do you want flowers? Do you want wheels? She goes, I want wheels. I want so we just put a two and a half inch lift on it and I got 30, 30, fives on it and uh what kind it. of suspension you're running it's their icon oh icon's a, a big name yeah. uh they've got like different level packages yeah and i see you've got a winch yes got that yep got the winch on there you know very good winch which worked good i just put you know the grill vents yeah. in there we yeah. upgraded the headlights last yeah. year because the jk headlights are not really good all oh, the led headlights are so these awesome. are fantastic yeah. so those and the fog i put the work lights on before yeah with the the bumper yeah and the winch and the bumper and i added this you know this just help you know help deflect some of the air up because yeah you do yeah. get some noise and stuff yeah. off the way how did you get this roof rig installed and, and did you do it yourself or I did everything myself except um, except the wheels and the suspension and also the first time we came out to Colorado we realized that the base model Jeep with the little 16 inch wheels had a 321 gear ratio so we're on the highway that's haunting between four and five it just mm -hmm. wasn't right I went back then I said okay I got big wheels I don't you know it, now I'm running 456 so it <clears throat> has no problem so we did that I did not do that myself everything yeah. else I did myself so starting with the footsteps here I like that mod yeah there are two different kinds that I, I saw that I really liked and so these are the ones I got the second set and what is it I just use uh, I put rub around it and then stainless steel U-clamp uh -huh. uh -huh. and put them on the back. Uh, That's on, not, on what both sides. not what they're for, but yeah, so yeah. we can step up and climb around. Mm -hmm. This is a Congo cage. I looked at a lot of them and I liked it because it fits kind of snug up to the, uh -huh. the rig, doesn't stick out too far. It's right. really, really sturdy. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't uh, penetrate the, the, the roof at no. all. The bolts that are here for the windshield bolts. Mm -hmm. And these bolt right down into holes that are already in the frame. So it already hooks down. So this is specifically made for the JK. Yes. The cool thing also about the, the Congo case, it comes with a catwalk, which my wife loves. Oh okay. yeah, I saw her up here when you guys were setting up yesterday. Yeah, when we do the tent. Yeah. So what's nice about that is when you get up here like this, you can definitely help to set up your Oh, you can access everything. And you can access everything here. From here. Wow. Cleaning and this the is solid. It hooks right to the frame. Packing. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things about that. Was that? We sit up there and we watch fireworks before. Oh, yeah. You can just sit nice. up here. Nice. Or look at stars. Well, that's one of the things I, I disliked about all of the roof racks is you got to drill into your top. That was one thing I didn't want to do. I have to do any of that. And I haven't done any. So what is this? This is this is the yarmulke. This is an actual pull-out um, awning. Our, it takes us when we do the tent. We get to we set this up in Salida, Colorado. One night we were at the hot springs of Princeton. We got back; it was pitch dark. Well, we set up in the pitch dark without even a flashlight. Wow! Nice. And then it's got the feet. Pull the legs down. If it's breezy, if we're just using it during the day or something, you don't even need to use the stakes. Oh, it's got the little horizontal. Uh, yeah. And you have Velcro under here that you can lock in. That's where the feet all fell, uh, fold into, which is yeah. kind of nice. The Velcro here straps and they just wrap them around the, the yeah. horizontal pole. And when we fold up the tent, we just throw this up on top before we put the cover on. But typically we'll throw this on the ground, portable picnic table and benches that we can set up here. And again, we can do the tent takes, we, t we time ourselves. Five minutes and change to do all of that. And then 
Not, you know, in 15, 20 minutes, we can have all the awnings out, everything opened up and ready. And that makes it fun. Tell me about your, uh, how you've got this little two-door uh, loaded so everything fits. Yeah, we, we went out a few weekends the first summer close to home just practicing. You take out what you don't need because you don't have any spare space. You have a shelf that goes across from ledge to ledge. Which you built that shelf. Yeah, I built the shelf. In fact, this year I rebuilt it in a different way. It's very narrow, so it ha the shelf itself has to come apart. I use dowel rods on between the boards. So you have to get the boards apart to be able to get it out. Right. And you use cedar because it's lighter. I was ha concerned about adding more weight to it, so we right. used cedar to right. put that in there. And we use different bins. So her clothes, my clothes fit on the side. You want to pull something out. Each of them has certain things in it. Well, and you see some of them, you know, they've built these drawers and, you know, built in stuff, but they're taking up a lot of space. The slides you lose. Yeah. So we didn't want right. to do that. Everything right. slides out really easy. And plus we only, we use it as a vehicle the rest of the year. So it's, sure. it's really for camping. Her backpack over there, mine here for when we go hiking yeah. and we can put water in them. We have behind the backpack, we have portable chairs that we set up. It's all easy to get to. <laughs> and stuff bouncing around. I'll show them the netting you put oh, on. Oh yeah. Sometimes when we hit a four-wheel drive road, I put hooks down here that, and it just keeps things in. Our folding tray table that we have here. Yep, yep. We'll sit right behind the netting and that hooks down over there tight. Of course we have our tailgate. Right. The table which a lot of people have. These, I really like this, this model. It's really sturdy. It does not rattle at all. I like the fold-up aspect. It's got a magnet on the bottom, so you just drop it. And who's that by? Rock slide. Yeah, okay. this one could be a top shelf or a windbreak. And then this is our plug-in cooler, our e-cooler that we have that keeps everything cool. Uh, plugs yeah. into that our AC. This will slide right up in here. Our right. other cooler with just cold drinks in there uh, slides right there. up in here. Um, and that's pretty much it. You've got yourself a 38-foot motorhome. In a, in a two door Jeep. <laughs> we have a routine, you know, she does her thing, I do mine. And so, you know, mine's always doing the back. So I usually get out of the bumper, get up here, use the step on the tire, and uh, then we can do the poles. Another added awning we did. This is just an off brand we just got on probably on Amazon. It's sure. just another awning that comes off the back so that mm -hmm. if it's raining or whatever, we can be covered under the back. So okay. this cover actually comes down, and then once this folds up in there, you just comes up. It's just like a cargo thing, you know. Show me how strong this is. No, Every it's really... Everybody always wow. asks, is it sturdy? Is it sturdy? Wow. It's very sturdy up there. It's not going anywhere. No. no, it's got a real strong hinge and you get support from this too. So I'm just going to stand on the ladder just a little bit. you got lots of room up here. we got skylights. Yeah. We so last night we laid it in there and, and looked at the stars and then we opened the back hatch of the fly, flipped it up, and our heads actually stuck out the back. So we could lay in there out the back and we're looking at the stars last night. So, and then we have the fan up there. We got that, that fan has been a phenomenal fan. I got that on Amazon. That works great. It's got a it's light, a battery, it's just battery, battery operated. Little, your USB type rechargeable. Yep. Yeah, yep. That, very nice. And it's a lighted up there. And we have the Yeti uh, Goal Zero for, got to run that CPAP so his wife yeah. can sleep. CPAP machine. Oh, you're a CPAP guy. Yeah. And yeah. our refrigerator will run a bowl. And then the ladder, where does that fold up into? It, <laughs> you got to pull most of the stuff out of the tent we do. part. We leave the sheets, there are sheets in there. Uh, we leave all that in there, but, but blankets we don't. We have one bin that's packed with the stuff that we'll, including games. Anything we, we use when we're up there. That one bin is right in the middle of the bag. So you use a big sleeping bag? This is all we use. And it's called Rumpel, R-U-M-P-L. And... We've been in 30 degree weather. I bring an extra one just because, in case, but for the most part, this is the warmest you can we, you need. So it's Rumpel? R-U-M-P-L. Huh. And it all folds nice into the bag. Nice. Oh, Rumpel, there it is, yeah. We've been <laughs> in rainstorms where water's rushing underneath the Jeep and where dry as can be. Everything's out of there except the sheets. And the windows, the coverings are all down, obviously. We leave a little at the, on a couple of them so that some of the one we fold it down, the air will puff out. Once he's ready, we'll show you how quick it is to... Could you do this alone? Yeah, I can. I, I could not. I always like trying to do things by myself. I cannot do it. Must be a guy thing, I don't know. He would have a way to be able to set it up. So I have one other question for you, real easy question. What do you do in the middle of the night when you got to go to the bathroom? 
<laughs> you climb down and you find the bathroom or you find the woods. <laughs> and isn't that part of camping? It is, of course. <laughs> So what's next? Let's hold her up. Let's hold her up. Okay, ready? And here we go. You do, do you do that like you've done it once or twice? Yeah. The nice thing about these is this has got, you put your rod through there, which is a flap on the tent. Nice. Have you had it weighed? No. no hell it, in it, hell no. <laughs> That'd be interesting to know. Okay. That's where the mat goes that we sometimes use. Typically, the crossbars are supposed to be mounted on top. What I did is I mounted them underneath. Uh -huh. And these are just Those pull noodles, noodles and just slice them. I've used different ones. I like yeah. these because they're black. So then the weight of the tent is on the rack, not on the crossbar. I want yeah. it to be nice and sturdy. Yeah. And, and again, who made the rack? It's a Congo cage. Like, Congo like cage. Africa Congo. It's a Congo sport cage. And it's, Sports cage. You can see it doesn't move at all. Do and did they make the catwalk also? Yes. yes. It's part of it. It's a fantastic rack. Well, I got rid of the, the factory muffler. Uh -huh. So it's got a high clearance muffler on the back, which sounds really nice. I wanted to put a tuner package on it. I got this through Holly. The ECM, which is down here, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. This fits right between your line sets that plug in and the factory ECM. This fits right in there, oh. and it works off the buttons on my steering wheel. I can go stock, uh -huh. economy, trailer pulling, or sport. It changes your uh, throttle response. Yeah and your your tuning and your timing on the fly wow and that's nice going to, yeah. on the highway i was in econ economy mode right we got near the mountains i tend to go to trailer mode right sport mode they want you know you should put premium gas in it which i haven't it changes the power a lot yeah. to me that i love that yeah. Well, thanks, Mark and Peggy, for giving us a, a quick show and, and bad, all the really cool things that you've done to your JK. Thank you so much for giving us a tour, and maybe we'll see you on a trail again someday. Yeah, that would be fun. And yeah. thank you all for watching No Gas Welcome Aboard, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, all right. we're on to the next place. There you go, us too.